Hi guys, made this the other day, just a very simple car, plastic bottle, two barbecue skewers and some cardboard wheels. One basic thing wrong with it is the wheels are too big for the space that I put the axles so they can actually rub together which can cause a problem. So I'm going to do a few changes to it today. Now, this one you might remember I put an extra bit of cardboard on it to make it a bit thicker. I'm going to do that with all of them to make them all a bit thicker. You will notice they've warped a little bit but that really doesn't matter they still work. The other thing I'm going to do is make them a bit smaller. They don't need to be much smaller. I reckon if I take about a quarter of an inch off, all the way round, then they won't rub together on the car. So somewhere, that's the bit of card I use to draw the circles. If I Push it over there. Let's push it over the pointy end first. Make it a bit easier. Right. So that was the original diameter. So we want to make it a little bit smaller. Let's pin. Right, so now I should be able to draw around like this. I think I said in the other one, this one's got a bit of glue left on it from where I've used it for something else, so it's a bit sticky at that end. Right, put that back on there. Right, so if I trim them, then they should be a better fit. Don't trim them too far, or they won't touch the ground and the bottle will scrape if they're too small. So I'll do two of them and check that I haven't overdone it.
that should be okay. I'll just put two of the others. So make some bits to go there. You don't even need to cut these into circles, they'd be quite all right as squares. See that bit. You can always glue these in place, but I'm working on the assumption that you don't have any glue. So, put that one through. to leave a little bit of a gap. So it runs freely. Let's 
So our wheels don't rub together now. Got a gap between them. cut this one off just in case I need a longer one at a later date. So that's our improved car. What are we going to do with it now? Well I'm going to see if I can make it balloon powered. The only thing with the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do it the quick and easy way, which means the balloon will only last once. Because I'm going to put some tape on here. So it's a loop. So it's sticky on both sides. I'm going to blow the balloon up, stick it on there and let it go. And it should push the car along. So I'll move the camera so we can see it working. I'm saying it'll only work once with the balloon. You might be lucky and get more than one go out of it, but usually when you try and blow it up a second time, it'll burst because it gets stuck to the sticky tape. Balloon on the sticky tape. And let it go. Not very impressive, was it? <laughs> I'll try and blow it up again. Try again. Make sure we're all loose. Oh that was better, it got a bit of a run to it that time. We'll see if we can get it come back again. So, there we go, <laughs> a balloon powered car. We covered changing the size of the wheels with our compass, homemade compass. And then we added a bit of sticky tape that we folded so it's sticky on both sides. And then we blew up the balloon and just stuck it straight on the sticky tape that holds it in place. Let it go and off it went. And for those people who must know distances, it went about three metres. So that's our balloon powered car. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there and you might like to subscribe over there.